Hello everyone, today I would like to show you a very good extension which is After Detailer or also called A Detailer on Stable Diffusion. This is very useful because we can improve faces, hands and position and it follows the in-painting techniques. So it's actually better than Codeformer or GFPGAN, which we've seen already in one of my previous videos. You can use the A Detailer with Stable Diffusion 1.5, but also with Stable Diffusion XL, which is great. And yeah, let's dive in. So the model we are going to use, depending on what was trained on, is going to detect and recognize the object or subject in this case that the model is recognizing a face of, of this beautiful lady and after having recognized this face is going to build a mask on it use in painting for generating a better face and this is the results from using media pipe face full now to install the ad tailor it's very simple you go into extensions and then available load from and then you look for the editor here and you press into install. If you cannot find it in here, there is another way. You go into install from URL, then you go into the main GitHub page and you copy this link here and you paste it inside this checkbox here. And then you press into install. After that, you need to apply and restart UI. Then given that I showed you this, this is the main GitHub page for the AD Taylor. There are a lot of information about this extension. If, if you want to have more details uh, about the installation process, and in case you have issues, you can go into discussions or issues actually, and you can raise questions. Also going down, you can have more information about the models. So here you can say face YOLO, hand YOLO, person YOLO, media pie face. These are all available models that you can use in for your AD Taylor. Then it gives you also additional models. You can download Ultralytics YOLO. And once downloaded, you need to move them inside this folder, Web UI Models AD Taylor. And, and also is suggesting that the model should end with PT or PTH. So make sure you're using the right model. So usually when you download the extension, you should have already the, the models, so you don't have to download them. But in case you don't have them, you should go through this uh, uh, little process. Great, so as I was saying before, the AD Taylor helps in recognizing subjects, faces, hands into an image and then it's going to improve what has recognized. We could actually do this improvement through in painting when we go into image to image and then we upload our image into the in painting tab. But there are some pros and cons in doing this. First of all, doing this process of in-painting, it requires a lot more time. I wouldn't say a lot, but more time. And most of the time you don't actually get what you want because the results is uh, kind of it's not consistent with the with the image you actually have so that's why a detailer is very important instead because it maintains that consistency now for this example i've already built my prompt description i'm using realistic vision 5.1 so i'm using stable diffusion 1.5 but as i said before this uh, a detailer works also for stable diffusion excel for this example, I'm going to generate a group of people. And usually when, you, when we generate a group of people, faces are not usually very good and hands as well. So let's see how we can improve the image we're going to generate using a detailer. So let's generate it first without using the a detailer and let's see what we get. And this is the image you can see is uh, it's quite nice, but obviously faces are not the best. They are a bit deformed, right? Mainly those of people on the back. So let's go into the AD Taylor. The AD Taylor is at the bottom of the tab, so it's in here. And the first thing we need to do is to enable it. Then we need to choose which type of model to use. As you've seen before, we have different models for faces and they are quite similar, but you can achieve different results with different ones. Usually face YOLO is quite good, and also I find it really good media pipe face full. Now I'm going to use face YOLO. For now, I don't want to change 
any settings. I want to leave the default setting for the AD Taylor and I'm going to press generate. So as you can see, it's detecting faces. So it's like kind of, we can see the process is kind of zooming on the, the single face and then it's going to improve it. And this is the final result, which honestly, I find it pretty, pretty good, right? Now, I have the option of showing me the picture with the detected mask and um, you can change this in the, in the settings and the, the AD Taylor. As you can see in this case, the model is detecting one, two, three, four, five phases. So this is the picture before and this is the picture after. So as you can see, the face has changed quite a lot, mainly for these people on the back or, and on the side. This number is the uh, confidence score for the model, meaning that the model, in this case, for example, is 85% confident that in that mask there is a face. Now, knowing that, we can now start playing with settings a little bit more. We can go under this detection tab within the AD Taylor tab. And we can see here detection model confidence threshold. So this is what control the confidence of the model. In this case, it's 0 0.3. So this means that it's going to improve phases for which the model is at least 30% confident. So for example, let's change this to 0 0.81. And let's press generate. So now let's, uh, let's compare the previous results with these ones. So in the previous image, we can see that the model detected five faces. In the second case, we use a threshold of 0 0.81, right? So what happens? The model is going to ignore all of the mask built on a face for which the model has a confidence less than 0 0.8. So in this case, it's going to ignore this person on the back. So if you see the final result, you can see that all of the phases have been improved except from the, the one on the back. So this is how it works. I hope this was, was clear. So when you see that your model is not detecting all of the phases you need to improve, then it means that you need to decrease a little bit your detection model confidence threshold. In the opposite case, when you see that your model is detecting too many phases, maybe it's um, I don't know, maybe if you have it too low, it's going to mm, consider an object instead of a face. So when it's uh, considered too many things inside the image, uh, you need to increase the confidence threshold. So this is very important again. Then another very important one is the in-painting strength, which is under the in-painting tab here. So the in-painting, the noise in strength, in-paint the noise in strength, tells the model how much to change the face. Usually it's better to use a, a value not too low, not too high, because if you get it too low, then the phase is not going to change much or sometimes not at all. If you increase it too much, then you can get something that is not really consistent with your original image, which is not great. So in my case, I'm using 0 0.4, but let's try, for example, with 1. Let's see what happens now. Actually, let me reduce this again to 0 0.5. And indeed, as you can see, we got something horrible. I Honestly, this is, <laughs> yeah, this th doesn't make sense, right? So definitely you should use something slightly lower than one, uh, but higher than 0 0.1. Otherwise, you're not going to change anything. Another very important one is the uh, mask mean area ratio and the mask max area ratio. So this is the minimum and the maximum area of the detected mask allowed. What does it mean? So if the minimum area is 0 0.1, then the model is going to reject all of the areas which have a mask smaller than 10% of the overall picture. And when I talk about the overall picture, I talk about the size of the picture. I want to show you this positive and negative prompt. With this, you can give some more information about the phase you are going to change, you're going to improve. So for example, let's assume that we would like to have blue eyes. You can actually add it in here as a positive prompt. So it's just a prompt that is going to be applied for the in-painting process, right? So if you want to add more details about the phase or depending obviously on the model you're using, the position or the hands, 
you can add them here both for the positive and the negative so you can i don't know add blue eyes beautiful high quality again and you can add in the negative prompt i don't know blonde for example if uh, you don't want your <laughs> improved face to have blonde hair so let's uh, I, i'm gonna use blue eyes now now let's let's change the prompt a little bit something like a portrait of a woman and then I'm using a random seed. I'm going to generate something quickly. So we created now another picture. So let's uh, compare the before and the after. So this is before. You see the model detected the face and this is the after. So it has actually changed the color of the eyes. Now it's slightly, without slightly, it's quite different, right? Let's decrease the in painting the noise in strength. So hopefully we will get uh, more or less the same face, but with blue eyes. Let's see if it works. You see, it has more the same face uh, compared to the other one. It's uh, respecting more the, the original face. Another way of doing it in case you want to actually use the uh, high, the noise. So maybe let's assume we really want to change to have very blue eyes. We can increase the, the noise in strength and we can actually use the control net model which is included inside the ad tailor it's actually in here you have this control net model and then you can choose you have different models in here so if you want to keep the same you know details uh, but you just want to change the color for example you can use line art because line art is going to create a mask which reflect exactly the uh, uh, the face of the original image and then it's just going to change you know it's going to build another image based on those lines so let's uh, let's do that so i have increased this denoising strength now and i've used line art control net model and this is the result of, from using line art control net and these are really the most important settings really there are some others also regarding the mask per processing for example in here but I, I really never touch them they are just going to increase or decrease the mask or they are going to move the mask when you generate the image you can decide to use another checkpoint or another sampling method for generating the image as well you can use a different variational of the encoder although I again I would suggest you to try and experiment with that if you're not happy with with the results you, you're getting from the default values which usually are very good anyway now the last thing i want to show you is that you can use more models at the same times so you have two tabs in this case you have first and second and in the first tab we are going to use the face yolo whilst in the second one we want to improve the hands let's suppose that so what we do we go into this um, drop down list and we choose the the hand model hand yolo in here and then here you can change the settings for the hand model and yolo model as well so you can use different ones you can use the same you can use the defaults it's really up to you i would suggest you to run default value for both initially and then start playing around with them in case you want to change something because you're not happy with the final result so now we have both models enabled and I'm going to press generate. I'm building the same, the first image we built before. So it's detecting faces first. And here you can see it's detecting the hands with the second model. So it's applied first the first model for face and then after it's applying the model for hands. Again, hands are not always uh, great, unfortunately, but I must admit that with this AD tailor that they are improving uh, most of the time. And this is it. Let's compare. So you can see here the face, you can see the hands detected. I got two masks actually. And this is the before and this is the after. They haven't improved a lot. So in this case, maybe you want to increase the denoising strength for the hand model and see what happens. So that's it for today. I hope this was useful. Thank you very much for watching and see you at the next video. Bye.